It was devastating. I really didn't believe it at first. I never even told my husband I was getting another mammogram because I really thought it was gonna be nothing. And I work at Penn, so I knew everybody in radiology. So it was hard because I know that they felt horrible, that they had to actually tell me that there was a tumor there. And that's the scary thing about cancer. You know, you're feeling fine, you're just going on your every day, and then suddenly, you know, you realize, wow, this has been, how long has this been inside me? But I was scared, you know, I didn't know what this meant for me. I had no idea that taking your breast off, there would be so many things down the road after getting your breast removed that would affect you. So I got to know Penn, it was like my home away from home. Getting reconstruction after surgery was never um, really a decision I had to think about. It was like, you know, you're taking my breast off and they're gonna give me new ones. So I didn't know a whole lot about it. Looking back now, I wish I would have thought about it more, but at the time I was like, whatever you need to do. Really think about your decision because it is a hard decision. One of the big things you have to decide when you're done is if you're gonna have nipple reconstruction or tattooing. So that was kind of a fun thing to talk about because we I had no idea. I never had a tattoo in my life. And I'm like, what are you talking about, a tattoo? You know, when you go through something like breast cancer, it's such a personal thing because it's, it's who you are as a woman and that part of you is gone. You know, you can't feel anything anymore. Most of the chemo puts you in menopause. Like, your body goes through all these changes. And so just the, you know, even the, the simplest thing, like the nipple reconstruction, the tattooing, just makes you feel like, okay, like, you know, I'm a woman again. I have, I look like everybody else. Um, I feel better. And that's what it's all about, make how you feel and look at yourself in the mirror. Because it takes a long time to feel that way again. I talk to a lot of people who have cancer, a lot of other women, and I do try to tell them that, look, just focus on what the treatment is today and try not to worry so much down the road because you can't really control it and things change. You've really just got to take it one step at a time. You know, you're going to have your chemo, get through that first week of chemo, get through that second week of chemo, and really just try to be where you are, live where you are, and try to make an impact on other people as you're doing it. I'm not at the place where I can say that this is never going to come back. I think a lot of people are there that go through cancer, especially, you know, in at later stages. Um, but I feel more confident in myself. I feel stronger. I feel like, okay, I beat this. and. I'm strong and if it comes back, I can do this again.